Hey guys, this is Scott Victor from Blue Fox Creative. Uh, I just well, I've run into a lot of problems with WordPress Duplicator with a WordPress Duplicator plugin. Uh, it's very very common with um, uh, HostGator and GoDaddy. They, they seem to be culprits with Duplicator. Du By the way, if you're not if you don't know what Duplicator is, it's a very very excellent plugin that allows you to run a full backup of both your site files and your MySQL database and it zips it all up and puts it in a nice package and you can download it to your computer and then you can just save it is what I do and then I feel more comfortable updating the plugins and the core files and the theme files right because you have a copy on your system and restore is fairly simple you know that that's why you're here but what I'd like to tell you what I'd like to explain is what I went through in order to fix this thing so it doesn't time out at HostGator now, as you know, HostGator is a shared hosting company, so you may or may not, some people may not have this issue, but depending on what server you're on, I believe, and how much it's being used by other accounts, it will time out. So here's what I did, and I thought it, you know, this tutorial warranted, warranted some action, so I'll just uh, give you a little bit of, a, of an example of what I did. The first thing I did was I went into the control panel, and I modified the PHP INI file, and what that is is it's an override file that overrides the default settings of the web host okay and what I did was I'll show you what I did I'll go into the um, the C panel if I can find it here geez I didn't even think I logged in yeah here we go so we go into the C panel um, where you what you want to click is the following you scroll here and find it where are you where are you? Where are you? Advanced. Okay, the, it's. I believe it's towards the bottom. You can change the order of these things by dragging them. I believe that these that the default is that advanced is at the bottom of the page. Click PHP configuration, and you'll see this screen. Now, for the when you see this screen for the first time. Uh, I've already created the PHP INI file. You won't see this when you first log in here. What you'll see is, I believe, create PHP INI. So click that button, okay? I'm going to click edit because I've already created it. And if this thing will load, okay, there are some parameters that you can modify to to allow the server to run longer because what the host wants to do is pare down the process time so that all the accounts run quickly. So what I did was I made the max execution time 240. I made the max input time 512. This is in seconds, I believe, okay? 240 seconds. Max input time is 512. And then the memory limit I increased to 256. And then you go down to the bottom and hit apply changes. When you do that for the first time, it will actually create the PHP INI file. If you look at it in the uh, in the in your FTP client and go to the root. Ah, heck, it timed out here. I got to re-log in. Okay, go back to the root. You'll see the PHP INI file is right there. And if you view the contents, I'll view it. And hopefully I'm not... Uh, Okay, here it is. It created the following commands to increase the server's runtime, essentially. Okay, so I did that, and it still threw some errors. The the the, the duplicator uh, plugin still told me that it timed out. So I'm like, hmm, okay. So I went into the plugin itself. Okay, so I logged in, and I went into the uh, settings for duplicator. And I wrote through here, and at the database build, it says use PHP, which was already clicked, and then it said query limit size. Before it was set at 100, okay? It says higher values speed up build times, but use more memory. Well, I just increased the memory. So I'm like, okay, 2000. Hit save, ran it, boom, success. I'll show you the build. So as you can see, 
this is the successful one. For some reason, it was almost finished with a build, but it would it would time out on these two here. But here it is. It's finished. I've got it. I'm good to go. It worked. All is well. I hope you guys get something out of this. See you later.